Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Hand Corner. We got Raz starting as the pink, peach, the this color, Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we got Doodle starting as the light green Protoss. This is Stark on 2024, lower bracket round four. And this is going to be on Neo Dark Origin. In PvP, it's kind of back and forth on this, honestly. It's kind of one of the, like, because of the, the bridge line, I feel like this is a really interesting map. In PvP, because of this bridge line, uh, three gate, I think, ends up not being as strong because you can hold these bridges with fewer troops. And also, if you get up to Reaver, you get up to High Templar as well. So I feel like Dark Templar a little bit stronger because the transition to High Templar is actually a little bit stronger because of these bridges. Um, and any sort of splash, Reavers are pretty strong, I think, because of the bridges, because of the splash. And it's easier to defend because you end up with stuff cluttering on top of itself. And on top of that, also going into three base, uh, making your way to three base macro play is a little bit more likely because you do have this behind that line, more protected interior third base. And so in the space of Protoss play, I find that more often than not, it ends up going to three bases. And the player that more is, uh, I don't know. That being said, uh, I think it was Semi. Someone went for a three base uh, Dragoon play, went three gate goon with no obs or no reaver i think or, or uh, no robotics i should say just straight three gate dragoon and I ended up winning it and i was a little bit surprised um i think there were opportunities for whoever the opponent was to maybe stabilize but anyway it looks like we've got uh, gateway gas pylon out for both players neither player going for the two gate opener uh both players sending out scouts a little bit of an earlier scout for raz raz gonna go ahead and check that back corner to be absolutely certain because there are opportunities with much earlier scouts to sneak around the back heat Braz is the favorite here but honestly doodle is uh I, I feel like doodle is actually getting towards raz's raz has more consistency at the upper levels than than doodle does right this second that being said i think doodle's getting here like pretty soon i'm pretty sure raz like i think right now they're like ah oh, raz is the favorite but honestly like in six months and maybe even at this stage i might say like actually raz is not the favorite versus doodle um and that's not like saying like oh doodle's bad or whatever not it's just doodle's improving and he's getting he's looking pretty strong and improving uh steadily as i've seen but anyway uh initial zealot that was not invested in the opposite side by the way uh, for Raz. So Raz wanting to go for Dragoon first. Manor Pylon for Raz in the meantime, which is going to cause that Zealot to dedicate. Uh, looks like he trapped a probe. I actually wonder what the math is. Like, how many probes do you need to trap and blockade and cause a disruption for that to be, wor to be worth the 33 resource costs in comparison? But Raz also up uh, a worker because of just general build orders and a little bit of mechanics. Um, Doodle trying to deal with a little bit of harassment right there, going ahead and getting his Dragoon out as well. Dragoon's going to be here a little bit faster so at least on the ground not that it's going to make a difference again because of ramp and architecture um and uh, other space oh actually it's someone in chat letting me know two apparently two is the number you need for benefit you need to trap at least two workers so raz missing it right there pylon being you have to be careful with this by the way because there are certain cheeses that work with uh forge play and sometimes you can sneak around and again uh, so dragoon again checking this back corner Raz making absolutely sure that nothing is hidden behind him. And he's going to open up two gate. Uh, does have range coming along the way. Just one gate currently for Doodle. But that probe staying alive a considerable period of time longer for Raz right now. He really wants the information on what Doodle's up to. Doodle able to finally get that uh, worker kill. Look, I believe this Dragoon was a merciful... No, actually, never mind. Was it a probe that was a... Can we find the probe that got the kill? Is the next question, was it one of the probes on gas? Because I don't think a probe returned to base in space of this. Although maybe, because we got one worker up. Two Dragoons and a Zealot starting to make their way across. It looks like it is going to be one gate into Robo, which I kind of like. Again, uh, because of this map. And are we going to see... Okay, it's going to be two gate Robo opposite side for Raz. But I think if this turns into one gate, uh, usually it's OBS uh, support bay as the... Um, as a standard okay also learning from chat apparently one if you even if you trap one worker it's about equal i think even just for the frustration it might be worthwhile then even if you trap one because it's not ultra difficult to to trap a single probe i guess unless you're playing a pro gamer and they're just doing absolutely amazing things four dragoons slipping out underneath doodle and i don't think these went spotted so doodle misses the four dragoons making the way underneath so that's actually going to potentially make this two gate hum this dragoon making its way up and 
is he gonna get so he checks finds no natural expansion but doesn't know about these four dragoons but nothing's on the low ground so doodle still might end up at an advantage overhaul as it's going to be three dragoons versus four raz actually checking the back corner but might end up a dragoon because he's got these dragoons that slid underneath and are going to be able to snipe doodle's dragoon so sneaky 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 doodle trying to create some delay doodle in the meantime by the way up six workers right here uh over raz because of the the two gate and some in other play and i think yeah doodle now in a really strong position adding additional gateway going to observer first queuing up a reaver dropping a shield battery just in case doing everything right and completely reading the situation well here and uh this is and raz again checking for that natural expansion is going to find three dragoons right here every once in a while when you find a player that's transitioning to three gate off the two gate you can dive into it so i think that's what he was checking for cancel the shield battery to get the resources back by the way a nexus dropping a little bit earlier here for raz but without without any with the much uh later reaver tech i'm a little bit concerned for him particularly if a shuttle is the follow-up for doodle uh another worker actually sneaking its way out for raz i'm kind of curious is that just for scouting purposes potentially just for scouting purposes so i feel like doodle's in a much better defensive position he's got a much healthier worker set right now uh supply counts are about even but that gives raz a slightly larger army but the slightly larger army it just doesn't feel very utilizable given the architecture of the map as long as doodle uh moves up a little bit further for uh, further abreast i'm wondering if this is going to be proxy tech from raz with the, a very late proxy of some kind um that would be interesting to see but in the meantime observer from doodle getting chased out of the base does survive uh needs to check that corner raz making his way in gonna go ahead and get eyes and everything and sees and honestly the timing of all this is just gonna have to rely on his instincts to recognize that he's up a lot of dragoons and it looks like he is starting to feel a little bit forward i like that he's doing the information denial piece of this but uh doodle does need to keep his eyes outside this uh outside that ramp area the uh, bridge area i should say and if raz makes movements he needs to step up into it and again try to engage with that reaver i think earlier rather than later and it looks like instead raz is going to get the better piece of this potentially this is going to be a longer reinforcement point maybe i'm wrong on this by the way it could be you it's better to keep that reaver in a more defensive slot i just know that i've seen a lot of players move up and absolutely slaughter dragoons at this point the observer by the way sneaking up to the three o'clock another observer checking on top of the base and we do have shuttle support uh and a bit of filter but this is going to give an opportunity so raz got across the bridge line this is a longer reinforcement point but this is still 10 dragoons versus just six and reaver which is uh still defensible from doodle but it is risky depending on micro in the meantime uh pylon's defensive reaver in the back a third and fourth gateway getting dropped in the space of this because raz did get that early economy slightly healthier economy for doodle overall observer making its way back into the base uh reaver and the other thing is is raz has had that observer pinned right there for a, and actually it's this is actually 33 workers because of this worker here in the bottom left hand corner by the way two reavers now scooped up for doodle he's also got shuttle speed and it looks like he's actually going to send that shuttle out on the field observer got picked off on the forward front but doodle gonna sneak his way out towards or sorry he picked off the observer over that nexus line but he's gonna try to sneak his way out two dragoons are making their way that direction does raz see it he might have seen it that doesn't mean he's gonna be able to defend it because speed shuttles can be very very difficult to deal with but that leaves a one reaver another reaver building here one reaver another and that reaver needs to absolutely stay alive doodle sneaking along that back corner only a single dragoon on that northern edge the zealot gonna be able to engage that and that's gonna be a big shot so able to kill three workers he was already up is heading his way towards the main cycling actually as though he's going to the main and making another end around and getting some additional kills from raz so now and oh okay two additional shots but there's gonna be another reaver hit in the space of this is that gonna be a dud the reaver's still on the ground oh another big shot so all of the scarabs landing by the way and all of a sudden raz down to 26 workers huge payout for doodle and now raz potentially all in and doodle walking his way out quickly able to pick off one reaver to even out the numbers although it's two reavers and one without a shuttle so raz might be able to razzle dazzle and micro's way back into this but he does have to win this through micro alone getting some good shots the shuttle's gone the second reaver has a sliver of health doodle trying to make his zealots proceed forward 
The Reaver shots on the low ground, engaging the Dragoons as they're going too far forward. Second Reaver shot is able to get the kill as it dies. And I think with that, Doodle may have won it because he can pull probes to defend here. Uh, as the additional Dragoons come across, his Reaver down in the space of it actually might be able to do some fancy shuttle trading. Does need to get the workers out sooner rather than later to provide the support though. Otherwise, he's going to have an empty natural expansion pretty rapidly as well. And I think actually the, the probe pull was a little bit too late. So now Raz actually might be able to get some a lot of damage done in the space of this. He's, uh, wow, pulled probes way out there. Not sure what that was about. High ground going to provide some support. Raz, honestly, uh, maybe not, maybe shouldn't press into this because now it's three Dragoons versus three on the low ground. Yeah, I think he should have sat back, got a pylon, uh, just denied that as long as possible. Oof, okay. So now, but has somehow stabilized in the space of this. How did he all of a sudden go from, wow, got a lot of workers down in the meantime but so now it's uh at the end of that 31 versus 35 raz still with three dragoons out here still playing aggressive one uh, on occasion Raz does play a little bit over aggressive and i think we're just about evened up so three worker lead for doodle he's got a slight edge here but again a larger army for raz four gate versus four gate trying to get a look at the reaver count both directions so we got one reaver there we don't have okay we have one reaver here i don't think we have a shuttle out on the front but raz getting aggressive wanting to get some additional shots shots done after taking out those probes the worker count now even but doodle's taken the supply lead overall and if he gets that shot okay getting a really big shot on those dragoons so seven dragoons out on the front versus two reavers and does doodle go for the counterattack? because he's just going to play a longer game from here honestly i would kind of maybe think sit back and raz with the how did the game sense of this as well from Raz going like, yep, I've evened the worker count up, which he's 100% correct on and walking right back out. The the level of instinct there is incredible, by the way. Two more, uh, sorry, a fifth gateway being tacked on. I'm looking for a sixth gateway in the midst of it, but Doodle moving out on the map. Raz uh, pocketing his Dragoons out to the right. I'm wondering if he's hoping to catch a Reaver from behind but he's that's creating a lot of risk the shuttle making its way across so gets spotted but it's also able to see i'm not sure if the dragoon the dragoon spotted it and doodle might be able to get some additional shots off needs to be very careful with this though so two shots is able to get a dragoon down the rest of his troops funneling forward and he might so raz peeling a little bit too far forward the observer sees it Shuttle making its way out to provide some support. And this is just all sorts of antics because of Dark Origin. And this could be really damaging for Raz because he's moving all his army. So he's attacking his shuttle way out of position. His shuttle under fire. What kind of fight is this turning into now? So Doodle, unfortunately, getting caught on both ends of this army. So he's got his Reavers to the south, the Dragoons to the north. The Reavers taking shots and trying to distance fire and two Dragoons also latently left but this entire attack force is going to be able to walk in to the natural expansion now and wreak a lot of havoc and does doodle have enough to defend back at the natural he now using that bridge line so doing all sorts of damage he's going to focus fire that nexus down might get the kill here probes pulling off or just evacuating right there a counter attack shuttle down reavers now exposed to the counter reavers a nice shuttle lift so raz is down on supply we got three Reavers trying to defend against a Reaver and a bunch of Dragoons now. And actually, I think Doodle might have done it with that. So the Reaver, so trying to walk the Reavers back, he's getting spread shots on the Dragoons and also drawing his reinforcements back to the natural expansion. So not only able to wipe out a Nexus, but able to keep, and he's going to be able to pick off these two Dragoons as well. So Raz is now back down to one, uh, one base mining. Doodle is capping his third. An incredible turn of events. And part of that was just because of this hero observer right there. That guy pulling all of the information loses his life here on the, the turnaround. But wow, Doodle knowing exactly where to strike because of that observer out in the field. And Raz just not and with, he's going to have to distance mine now, but just didn't have enough positional, uh, positional information. I don't know how Raz gets back into this. He might be able to last a longer period of time. This is what I mean. Neo Dark Origin just creates really fun PvP instances. Um, Raz still might be able to get back into this, potentially because he still has this bridge line to work with. And that can be hard to attack into and to breach, particularly with uh, 
uh, basically with smaller amount of troops you can fight against larger uh, unit compositions a couple of workers making their way out for doodle just to examine the map i think just to make sure he's in the situation he thinks he's in two reavers making their way top right and you can see raz rushing that third base to try to play it but doodle not giving him breathing room that nexus back up is going to take some additional shots lucky for raz right there well maybe not lucky losing another six workers the dragoon finding that quick third and those dragoons move out and uh, moved out of position to engage that so doodle now got to cross that bridge line and reinforcing is he going to be able to reinforce with these reavers great if you look at this a wonderful spread line for doodle and raz now taking shots from that left hand corner and also that another nexus looks like it's going to get sniped yeah cancellate cancellation and that was raz's way to get back into this so doodle being absolutely vicious with the turnaround attacks still getting shots off and that natural expansion even now doesn't look all that well saturated natural expansion looking pretty healthy on the opposite end and doodle rather than worrying about the, the worrying about the bridge line just holding a few troops here to engage anything crossing that location and leaving a pile of troops to the left to negate that bridge uh, line advantage recognizing it would have been up to raz to get some additional uh, it looks like he went for another drop in the main that i missed i don't think he got anything out of it because raz still sitting at uh, 40 workers here though a little bit risky i don't know that, that was the play here given the overall situation where you have when you're base up on your opponent really you just have to make sure he doesn't get that third up and you're okay we fanning out against staging is might get some pot shots this observer again right in position to provide the intel to do exactly this get those big shots off and close from two angles doodles engagements have been fantastic here reaver shot does miss on that scoop up the follow-up shot lands on one reaver the shuttle down opposite corner and doodle ends up losing this fight overall but he's uh, crippled a lot of those troops and has enough like honestly you could spend it because uh although he's still running off four gateways he does need to get a couple more gateways up in the space of this but he's got uh, an economy to work with he's even on supply raz has to come to him looks like there's another shuttle with two reavers out here uh waiting for the inevitable attack across that right hand corridor you do have the pylon blockade top right just in case there is a ninja play oh shuttle that could have been a way back into that shuttle taking some damage but now a flurry of fire and raz completely losing that dragoon force is able to wipe out that shuttle but it's going to lose his shuttle and reaver in kind and i think that is gg i think that was the last hurrah from raz now he's down 44 supply his mains mined out he still is his natural expansion healthy trying to redrop that nexus but i think he can't he just isn't going to have enough supply to defend the turnaround and uh doodle i think also wisely didn't over some players will oversupply the uh the worker count in between and he didn't make that mistake so instead he's going to be able to make his way across the left hand edge here with the workers or he could just go ahead and grab a fourth base himself if he wants to that's another option um might just move up an observer and peek at it or you could use the probe to peek as well to go for another assassin uh, assassination attempt and this is high ground where raz has to engage into him so going to abuse that advantage line Ooh, although doodle walking around a little bit so misfire doodle walking around a little bit too much while under fire but still using that high ground advantage it doesn't look like the misfire is gonna let him win here but what he's still doing is, is he's still just draining that troop count and keeping raz honest while he's got an initial base to work with and he's got a slew of reavers out uh and still shuttle speed and more dragoons to go for another attempt here um he could probably take a fourth and go for an additional attack raz uh, do, has managed to get that base up and actually if he saturates it rapidly it'll be even but let's see how long this evenness lasts because he's absolutely missing these reaver drops so good run but man every reaver shot has landed for doodle he's once again down to a handful of troops the dragoons moving out of position to try to stop the snipe on that corner and as a result they're not having enough to deal with the reavers along that nexus line finally he's getting shuttle speed trying to draw back towards that natural expansion and doodle has just been unrelenting with these attacks and scooping up right as the reaver gets there the dragoons making the way back down and getting the first shot off along that right hand edge does he have a looks like we've got an even army at a closer reinforcement point so might not want to engage there two bases up for raz but he's down a number of workers he's down a massive amount of supply and the amount of shuttles and reavers in the air is now overwhelming 
to be honest. So in pure Reaver count, uh, we got two Reavers versus effectively four, but actually technically five, and double shuttle versus zero shuttle, which means these Reavers have no place to hide versus the counter scarabs and there's also high ground advantage along this left hand edge for doodle and these dragoons are packed up an absolute reaver bait honestly oh man so look for the dragoons yeah absolutely to melt as those reavers get the splash damage shots reavers along that supply line as well dragoons also filtering in and that's gg great play from doodle knocking raz uh out of the tournament big kill for him and Doodle continues to stay alive in the lower bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.